And instead, you become overly emotional, overly sensitive, overly insecure, and you do things that only shoot yourself in the foot. Or you allow yourself to be blinded by your emotions and not realize that you just might be dealing with a woman you shouldn't be dealing with. What's up everybody, this is Stefan Labossier, AKA Stefan Speaks, your certified life and relationship coach. And today I have a message for the men. Listen, let me first start off by saying this. A lot of you, and when I say you, I mean the women who are watching this. You think men aren't getting hurt out here. You think women aren't playing games out here, but it's happening. It's happening every day. And the reality is that there is toxic behavior on both sides of the equation when it comes to relationships, all right? However, unfortunately, a lot of men don't know how to handle these situations and get themselves damaged and now take that damage and pour it into someone else, whether it be another woman, whether it be a family, whether it be their kids. I just wanted to throw that message out there real quick, but let's not focus on that. Let's shift to today's topic. Today's topic is when she pulls away. Now listen, back to these guys, men. Here's the reality, all right? And I, I want to put this within the context of you're dealing with a woman you actually like. You really like, you have genuine feelings for, you have genuine serious interest in, all right? And everything seems to be going great. And now all of a sudden she pulls away. And what I've seen a lot of men do is completely mishandle this situation because you allow your emotions to get the best of you and you don't know how to stand strong in your masculinity. And I want you to understand it's a very important thing. You've got to maintain your masculine energy, but we'll get into that. And instead, you become overly emotional, overly sensitive, overly insecure, and you do things that only shoot yourself in the foot. Or... You allow yourself to be blinded by your emotions and not realize that you just might be dealing with a woman you shouldn't be dealing with. So let's start there real quick. Number one, understand this. When she pulls away, don't panic. Don't overreact. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, is she really even for me? Did you have genuine interest in this woman or were you caught up in her beauty? Were you caught up in the hype? Or was there a real connection here? Because if it was just superficial, if it was a woman who you, you just got lost in the moment with, well then guess what? Thank God she pulled away. It's a blessing in disguise because she was going to only be a distraction in your life and completely take you off the path God wants you to be on. So accept that her exit is your opportunity. All right. Never get beside yourself and overreact because you're just focused in on the moment. You've got to learn to see past that moment and understand, is this what's best right now? But let's just say it was a genuine situation. And again, you had real feelings involved and you really felt like this could be it. Well, listen, step number one, again, do not react. Take a step back, think, pray evaluate. Understand that if the woman pulls back, number one, it may not even be because she's not feeling you right now. It may be because she's scared. You don't know what that woman's been through. And the mistake that a lot of men make is that you get triggered by her poor reaction because the reality is it wasn't healthy for her to just pull away like that. But as a man, you got to learn how to properly handle this situation. So Rather than reacting, lashing out, getting upset, approach her calmly with confidence and, and point out to her, hey, I notice I'm not hearing from you. I notice that you seem to be more distant. Let's talk about it. Show a willingness to discuss the things. Now, guess what? She may not want to talk at that moment or she may dance around the issue. Now, listen, again, do not get mad. Don't react emotionally. In that moment, say to her, okay, listen, when you're ready to talk about it, let me know. But until then, we can't keep doing it like this. 
You've got to let her know that there's going to be a line drawn, that you're not going to tolerate unhealthy behavior. If she cannot have good, proper communication with you to help you understand what's going on, then you don't need to be trying to deal with this woman in the meantime because what's going to happen is you're going to now shift to trying so hard to make sure that you're not triggering her. You're not saying the wrong thing. You're going to become very overly insecure, walking on eggshells, and you're going to drive yourself crazy. It's not healthy. So if she is unwilling to take a better, more effective approach in that moment, let her go. You are letting her go in love, not in lashing out, not in teaching her a lesson, not in being bitter, in simply understanding that maybe right now is not the time for her. And cool, if it's not, so be it. But the whole time, you maintain a mature approach. You maintain a positive masculine energy to the situation. When you do that, one, you will gain her respect. And you will allow yourself to have an opportunity to reconcile the situation when the time is right. But so many men in that moment, because of that overreaction, because of letting emotions get the best of them, you end up pouring more negativity into the situation. If she's scared, you just gave her more reasons to be scared. If she was damaged, you just added more damage to her life. You are shooting yourself in the foot when you allow your emotions to get the best of you. So you got to make sure, again, take a step back, but more importantly, if you're a believer, talk to God. He knows what's going on. Whether you can see, whether you can understand it or not, God can lead you in that situation. Do not let your boys tell you how to handle it. Do not let some other women tell you how to handle it. Because I got stories for days of women sabotaging those situations because she may secretly want you or she may feel like that woman doesn't deserve you from her own perception. And her advice is biased. So you got to be careful about who you allow to guide you in that moment. The one person, the one thing that can guide you properly is God. I'm giving you some advice, but I still want you to pray about this. But again, when she pulls away, don't internalize it. Don't assume it's about you or what you lack. It may simply be that, you know what, maybe you guys aren't for each other. It may be that she's so into you that she don't know how to handle it right now. Either way, just stay calm, stay cool. Focus on what you need to do. Focus on what God wants you to do and everything will work out as it needs to.